author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza is no stranger to the cancel culture mentality, weaponized by the radical left, but isn't backing down on his effort to shine a spotlight on the crime of the century. And his upcoming film, 2000 Mules, will do just that. The 2020 election was the most secure in U.S. history. There has been no evidence of widespread voter fraud. He lost a fair and secure election. The most secure election in American history. Really? All those of you who volunteered and worked the polls, you deserve a special thanks from the entire nation. One mule made 53 trips to 20 drop boxes. He's not alone. We tracked 2,000 mules making multiple ballot drops. Leaving no fingerprints. Snapping photos to get paid. A coordinated rate of illegal vote harvesting in all the key states where the election was decided. They delivered us a clear victory. Game over. And joining us now is author, filmmaker, and host of the Dinesh D'Souza podcast, Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh. President Trump predicted this was going to happen with this interview. You reached 6 million views and, oh, the community guidelines. What is it with these community guidelines when YouTube just keeps shrinking its community? Yeah, the guidelines are uh, essentially uh, an ideological uh, mechanism for excluding people and ideas that they don't want on YouTube. So YouTube has now become a kind of ideological platform. It's no longer a place where you can just go to put up content and find your own audience. Uh, that was the old YouTube, but that, that YouTube is in a sense dead. And uh, so it was one thing when they initially said, well, you know, there's this taboo topic and that taboo topic, but the number of taboo topics has expanded so much that now essentially you're walking on eggshells when you put up anything on YouTube. It's so true. We're now people are moving over to Rumble. You've moved your podcast over to Rumble because, again, even your movie that's going to be coming out, the censorship. We're not allowed to talk about the election, even when you have evidence on tape, when there have been investigations done. We're not allowed to talk about 2020, and yet there are certain videos that are still on YouTube if they wanted to clean it up from Russia, Russia, Russia from 2016 and all the years since then. Absolutely. The, you know, Biden just said, for example, that um, he hasn't done anything uh, to suppress domestic oil production. Now, you could run a fact check on that and find 15 different ways that that's a false statement from the suspension of the Keystone pipeline, the blocking of drilling on federal lands, the blocking of the Alaska drilling, and Biden himself boasting, we're going to you know, get rid of fossil fuels, we're going to move away from fossil fuels, no more fossil fuels. So uh, any fact check would have a wealth, a cornucopia of evidence to draw on, but they just won't fact check it. They act as if, because Biden said it has to be true, uh, and by contrast, they will fact check things. Now, interestingly, with my trailer for 2,000 Mules, I didn't even put it up on YouTube. Why? Because in a, in a weird way for those guys, the more true it is, uh, the more they want to strike it. In other words, they're more scared of things that are true than things that are just mere supposition or mere suspicion or insinuation. The more evidence you provide, the more scary it is to their ideological worldview. And don't you just love how they just watch all of these accounts? What do they do all day? They have a hit list of all the conservatives that they don't like, or even just people that are trying to host conversations as this podcast was trying to do with President Trump. They just sit there all day and, oh, it's because it's this guest. We're going to suspend it. Did they really watch the entire hour-long interview? Do they even watch the trailer? No, they just watch their own talking points. 
Well, they have their own uh, screeners and they do target people. I mean, I know for a fact that YouTube targets people and they say things like, let us send you six videos, see if you can find a way to knock this guy off of YouTube. And what they do is they subcontract a lot of this, quote, research to outside firms. But the outside firms are essentially operating under YouTube's own uh, instructions. So YouTube, in a sense, is creating a false idea. Oh, we didn't make the decision. We farmed it out to these outside researchers and fact checkers, and it was their recommendation that we are merely acting upon, even though YouTube has been directing the process from the beginning. And they're independent fact checkers. They always love to throw that in there. According to independent fact checkers, who are these so-called independents? Well, most of them are, and you know, Debbie, my wife, looked him up, and there's like a left-wing academic at a university over here and another left-wing researcher or reporter uh, over there. So this is a kind of cabal of left-wingers, and what their favorite phrase, if they see something that they can't disprove, all they say is, there's no evidence for it. So even if I produce a video of a mule dropping all these battles, they'll go, there's no evidence of it. And what they mean is that election officials haven't come out and said, yes, Dinesh is 100% right. We have the exact same video in our vault. And since no one has made such a public statement, there is, quote, no evidence except evidently your lying eyes. Yeah. They don't trust the American people to be able to watch things for themselves and get to see what actually happened. How are you preparing for the censorship? Because, again, we have your website. We're going to put it up on the screen. People can sign up for the email updates. But you know people are watching. They're going to try to shut you down when this film comes out. How are you going to ward against that? Well, we're going to uh, have a, a week or so in which organizations around the country do essentially theater rentals. You rent out the theater. You uh, publicize the event. People, This is for people who want to see the movie in the theater. We'll make it possible and we'll have an organizational structure mm -hmm. to make that happen. And then we'll have it for digital download and it'll be on more than one site. So it'll be impossible to take down. And so our big challenge is not so much protecting the site. We'll do that but also being able to get the word out because we won't be able to use YouTube and Facebook to do that. We'll figure out other ways to get the word out. Well, we're having to get more innovative and more entrepreneurial, even when you think about campaign season coming up, the way that Republican accounts are going to be monitored and really shut down. That's why we have these alternative platforms like Truth Social, like Rumble, getting to see things out there for people to get to see the facts for themselves. And President Trump just shows it, even his rallies. Nobody covers them anymore, but you go online, he's getting millions and millions of views because people know where to look for the truth, and they're finding the truth. The truth is getting out there. Dinesh, we can't wait for your movie to be released do you have an estimated release date yet yeah we're looking to release uh, around the second week to the middle of may we'll have okay. that date egg down very shortly great and again your website everybody sign up for email updates so they can we just can't wait to see what actually happened from the trailer what we're seeing now it's just unbelievable that no work has been done to hold these people accountable so god bless you dinesh and we'll look forward to hearing from you again soon Thank you very much. And before we go, be sure to tune in to watch President Trump's Save America rally in Florence, South Carolina on Saturday. <coughs> and I'll see you back here on Monday. So until then, as always, keep the faith and have a magnificent weekend.